Hi, this is Dr. Rick Ferguson from Implant Educators. This tutorial will demonstrate the dual scan denture inversion technique. So the goal here is to create a surgical guide for a fully dentulous maxilla. The first step is to take the patient's denture, place fiducial markers on the patient's denture, take a CVCT scan of the denture by itself, You'll then place that same denture with the fiducial markers into the patient's mouth, have the patient seat the denture, make sure it's seated properly, have the patient close and bite down on that denture, and take a CVCT scan. We'll then stitch the two scans together, and we'll walk through the steps now of how to uh, create a surgical guide using this dual scan technique where we invert the denture to create a soft tissue model upon which we'll uh, design and create a surgical guide. Okay, so the first step in the process to, is to create a new project in the Blue Sky Plan software. We're going to select and open the denture and bone scan first. Bring that into the software. It's going to ask you if this is a correct patient. Click yes. Make sure it is a correct patient. Um, we're then going to select our region of interest. Um, now be careful when you do this. We're only interested in the maxilla here, but remember we did scan this patient with the denture in place with the fiducial markers and we don't want to lose any of those. So make sure you capture the entire denture um, in this region of interest, including the fiducial markers. So we've got that well selected. We're going to go ahead and hit OK. And you can see how in the 3D rendering here we have the bone scan with the fiducial markers. Because of volumetric averaging that occurs, the denture actually won't show up very well in this scan. This scan. Um, it will show up if you scan the denture by itself um, in most CVCTs. So the next step is to import that denture scan, which we'll do by importing scan appliance. We'll then, instead of the denture and bone scan, we're only interested in the denture scan. We'll go ahead and hit OK and again make sure it's the correct uh, CVCT scan and in this case now we're going to reduce the volume of interest just to the denture which again see how it shows up really well when you scan the denture by itself and we don't need that post which is part of the CVCT unit we can reduce this volume down to just the denture by itself again you can actually see the fiducial markers pretty clearly here we don't want to uh, reduce it down where you don't have those fiducial markers. Those are important. So we click OK, and <clears throat> the Blue Sky software will now actually try to align both sets of fiducial markers. The first one in the upper left screen here is from the bone scan, and the second one, you can do, use a slider to bring in some of the bone volume here to show you that. But we just are interested in the fiducial marker, so I'll slide it back over. The software actually does a great job of aligning those fiducial markers for you. As you can see down here in the lower right quadrant. Um, if you'd like, you can also click on the points and choose them manually. We're not going to do that because, again, the software does a very good job <coughs> of doing this for you. But if you saw that they weren't aligned, can actually see here where the white and the red are aligned very accurately but if they weren't aligned you could actually pick the points manually and then we're going to go ahead and hit OK. <clears throat> so the denture is now going to be stitched to the bone scan and we can rotate that and check the alignment. Um, I like to do it in these slice views and just go around the arch and that looks excellent. It's like an excellent alignment. We know that because the fiducial points had matched up extremely well. We can actually see the fiducial points here um, from the denture scan and the bone scan. The white is from the bone, bone scan and the red outline is from the denture scan and we can actually see two fiducial markers and you can check those. Um, the red line here should go around and wrap around those fiducial points. We can go through all of our slices and make sure they do align. Very good. Okay. 
can check that all the way around. So at this point, the next step, uh, if you'd like, is to go ahead and actually fix the curve because the curve here was off. So I'm going to go ahead and fix that. And bring that down. Let's make this full screen so we can see those points a little bit better. And let's bring this point here. We're going to adjust our curve so we can see in our panoramic projection what the image looks like a little bit more clearly. That looks pretty good. Let's bring this over this way a little bit. Alright, center that up on the bone. Okay. So we've got our denture scan, our scan appliance, and I'm going to rename this denture scan. Or denture. model. Okay. So what we can do at this point is in order to get a soft tissue model we're going to export this denture model out of the software. So I'm going to uncheck the original model which is a CBCT. I'm going to, of the bone scan. I'm going to go ahead and do export data and it's only going to have the denture model there. I'm going to export this and call it denture model. And hit save. We're then going to open that denture model in another software called Mesh Mixer, which is a, a free software that you can get from meshmixer.com. So we're going to open this um, that file that we just exported. In order to invert it, we're going to open it in a software called Mesh Mixer. This is what the model looks like. You can see it has it still has the fiducial markers. Um, this was exported from the Blue Sky Plan software. What we want to do is actually invert this image. Um, so that we have a soft tissue model, and, which is going to be based on the intaglio surface of the denture. So this brings up a point. The denture needs to be an accurately fitting denture. It needs to seat well um, in the patient's mouth without um, any movement or, or a lot of rocking. Um, it has to seat well. If you need to reline the denture, reline it with a, an acrylic that's similar to the base of the existing denture. So I like to use the paint technique to remove the outer shell of this um, model. We're going to do an, uh, select the unwrap brush and we're going to paint in this model so that we get rid of just the outer shell. And we're going to include our fiducial markers as well. Because these STL files have positional data built in and we already aligned it to our, our bone model, when we bring this uh, reversed image back into the Blue Sky Plan software, it should be um, already aligned. We won't have to use those fiducial points to align it again. So we're going to go ahead and just paint this away like such. We don't want to go over into the intaglio surface because that's what we're going to fabricate our guide on and that needs to be pretty accurate. Um, we want as much of that intaglio surface as possible as well so that our guide is stable. I'm just going to go ahead and paint this here. I usually take my time when I do this so I get the most accurate result.
Okay, so that looks pretty good there. We can now um, delete that outer shell. And what we see is that we have an accurate representation of the soft tissue of this, of the, ins well, basically the inside of the intaglio surface of the denture. So this is still not reversed, so we'll need to select now um, the opposite side and then do a, the edit tool and do a flip normals. Now that this is flipped, you can see there's a little area right here that we can get rid of. Um, it's not so important that you get rid of it at this stage because you can use the uh, isolate tool in the blue sky plan to remove that. So we're going to now export this and save it and I like to call this denture model in inverted. Of course you can call it whatever you want. Um, we'll go ahead and save that. We can then um, close the mesh mixer program. We don't have to save that, it's already saved. We go back to our Blue Sky Plan software and at this point we can import this as an STL file. So we'll go ahead and import STL model. There's a denture model inverted. Open. And we're going to, it's going to want to um, align to teeth. We're not going to use that method. Here it is in the software. We can go to our surfaces tab and you can see it's not actually aligned so what you have to do is go to the manipulate model manipulation tab and click direct and hit align and you'll see it goes right back to the original position where that denture was the previous uh, denture scan was aligned so we have a good representation now of our soft tissue or the uh, intaglio surface of the denture on which we're going to make our model so if we click on our surfaces tab, we can see that the denture is still there. We're not going to use that model. And actually now we can go ahead and um, get rid of uh, this original, which is a CBCT image. Make this a little bit bigger. And you can see that um, extra data point that we had there um, that we had brought in from from the mesh mixer software and if we click on that surface we can click the isolate tool click on the main model and it gets rid of the, uh, any extra data points that you might see or any scatter uh, that you might have brought in so this looks like a pretty good model in which to make our surgical guide so at this point what we can do is go ahead and plan our implants so we're going to um, we're going to go ahead and put in some stabilization pins into this guide. And the way we do that, let's just click on the Add Implant tool. And instead of implants, we're going to go ahead and uh, select pins. And again, make sure you're using the uh, correct pin. You can customize the pin lengths and diameters. Make sure you're using the proper um, stabilization pins for whatever system implant system you're using. So we're going to add this stabilization pin uh, in between the two implants here in this position. We'll add one pin here. So before we create our surgical guide, we have to turn on our guide tube settings for our three pins. And in this situation, um, we're using the standard guide pins, but you'd need to customize them for whatever implant system you're using. So once we do that, we can go to our guide panel. Um, go ahead and uh, show our curve, which we had created earlier. We can then go ahead and um, create our surgical guide. So here's what our surgical guide looks like. We have our four um, implant positions. We also have our guide pin holes. Um, we can now, after we verify that we're happy with the way it looks, we can now go ahead and export this out of the Blue Sky software. 
um, by clicking export data. We're only interested in our surgical guide, so we'll uncheck all of these boxes here. If you want, you could create a drill guide as well. We didn't do that, so we're only going to export our surgical guide. And we'll save it as surgical guide. And that's ready for 3D printing now. So, of course, we could have created a scan appliance guide by using the denture model that we had brought in initially. And I'm going to turn off our surgical guide we just created. And let's look at the differences between the two. So if we go back to our guide panel, we can choose to use the denture model, which was original scan appliance, and create a scan appliance guide. So this surgical guide that was created with the original denture model or the scan appliance, we can look at that and we're going to turn off our denture model now and you can see it actually used the denture to create this guide. Um, the problem with this type of guide is sometimes um, it gets in the way. Um, in this case it's very similar to the guide we use we created um, using the soft tissue or the intaglia surface of the denture. But using this technique, the inversion technique, we can actually um, make the guide smaller and you can see here you know the, the tooth here would get in the way of, of our drilling process it's a little bit more bulky than our first guide that we created using the inversion technique and we can also even make this guide smaller if we'd like of course we we'd want it as wide as possible to get the support of the soft tissue but you can see we don't have the teeth in the way and it's going to uh, be a little bit easier to get in there and do our drilling steps with this type of guide. 